dieting will always be a way of life for me now. People notice all the time that I'm careful but that is because I have to be. I am walking, talking, smiling evidence that with the right guidance, determination and self-belief, and a healthy dose of willpower, you can be the size you've always wanted to be. Back when I was delving into my wardrobe and pulling out size 28 clothes, I never dreamed I'd be able to walk into a shop and pick up a size 12 knowing it wouldn't fit me. But now that's my reality every time I buy new clothes. And my god, I love it. I cried my eyes out when I first put on a size 12 t-shirt. It was the best feeling ever. But I'm not the slimming fairy and I don't have a magic wand. I've called this my honesty diet because that's exactly what it is. You are honest with yourself. Other people are honest with you. And you're honest about every single thing you put in your mouth. You are not going to find a magic weight loss pill hidden here. The reason? It doesn't exist. If you're serious about losing weight, the only way it's going to happen is Eat healthier meals, choose smaller portions, move around more if you're overweight, you're eating too much. You're also probably not moving around enough. I'm not one of those people who's going to say you can eat chocolate and ice cream and still drop pounds because that's simply not true. If you're looking for a super quick fix or for someone else to do the work for you, then this isn't for you. I want to say up front there are some bits you may find tough. Nothing worth having was ever easy. But the incredible news? It really does bloody work. Just look at me. This plan will be hard at times but it will change your body. If you want to feel amazing for the rest of your life you have to be mindful and honest about what you're eating at all times. My Honesty Diary Your best friend is your honesty diary. You write down every little thing you eat so it's in front of you in black and white. Buy a new notebook or diary so you can start afresh, and you are then your own. And, even better, you come for free. Anytime you feel up or down, you make a note of it. I shed a fair few tears in those early days, I can tell you. Then, later on down the line, they turn to tears of joy. I can't stress enough how much of a game changer it was for me when I acknowledged what I was eating on a daily basis. Once I was realistic about the fact I was the one who had made, and was keeping, myself fat, I was able to start making real, substantial changes. It's so important to write things down and face them. Over the years, I'd told so many lies to myself about losing weight, I'd completely deafened. Myself with them. I'd got used to being different from other people and labeling myself the fat, funny one.
until I recognized that the only person I was lying to about the mess I'd got myself into was me, I couldn't move on. This is how I laid out my own honesty diary. Every day I would write down the following information, each night at bedtime I wrote a brief summary of my day, and I went to sleep holding the image of the all-new future of me in my head. What I used to eat breakfast for slices of white toast with loads of butter cocoa pops with full fat milk. Lunch cheese and onion toasty with fries dinner mushroom tagliatelle with garlic bread. Snacks between meals crisps, sandwiches, bars of chocolate, non-diet fizzy drinks, bowls of cereal. Supper two toasted crumpets and jam what I eat now breakfast lunch butternut squash and coriander. Dinner garlic and chili cod with roasted spinach and cauliflower desperate measures almonds or plain cashews, fruit, coffee with a splash of almond milk. What were my downfalls? I always had a Warburton's white loaf in the bread bin. I'd eat it toasted with so much butter it would swim around on top. When the snack trolley came round when I was filming, I'd wolf down huge prawn sandwiches with tons of butter, as well as donuts and cakes. This was after a big lunch. I also lived on baked potatoes, chips, mash, you name it. Crisps will always be a weakness and it will probably never go away. I could polish off a tube of Pringles in minutes, and go back for more. I was always picking at sweets. I'd have a few bags on the go. I love Italian food. I'd always have pasta and garlic bread. I never ate fewer than three courses, plus sides followed by a chocolate dessert and milky coffee. Then I'd often stop on the way home for Pringles and chocolate to eat in front of the TV. I was so good at saying to myself, I shouldn't have that, but FK it. If I had a sandwich, I had a giant one. If I had a slice of cake, I'd quickly polish off the rest of it. Every time that little voice in my head said, are you sure you should be doing this? I'd push that FK it button, and I'd push it hard. Things that could scupper weight loss Most of us have a friend who can eat cakes, sweets and biscuits and not put on weight. That doesn't mean you can. When I was losing weight I knew I'd never be giving Kate Moss sleepless nights. I didn't want to be perfect, just the best possible version of myself. You can't change who you are but you can certainly improve on it. A lot of slim people either watch what they eat, or they are used to eating healthily and stopping when they're full. Fails equals fails this is my mantra. I weigh myself now and again but I'm not a slave to the scales. You can tell if you've lost weight because your clothes, and common sense, will tell you, so don't hop on and off the scales ten times a day. You only depress yourself.
guilt-free sharing sharing food with someone doesn't mean it has no calories. The same goes for eating standing up, picking at food from a pan instead of using a plate. Denial I went out with a friend the other day. She had a salad for lunch, followed by a chocolate cake and a cappuccino with two sugars. She said to me, I can't wait to tell my husband I only had a salad for lunch. Need I say more? Holidays it is not inevitable that you will put on a stone in a two-week holiday. You can still eat healthily, especially if you're staying at an all-inclusive. Where there's usually a salad bar and many options. One won't hurt at will. Especially if you have lots of ones. It's a slippery slope. Food amnesia I'd eat something and forget about it seconds later. If I'd eaten it really quickly, or while on the go, I didn't seem to think it counted. I'd get to the end of the day and I wouldn't have a clue what or how much I'd put into my body. Now that I write everything down I can't do that. Eating late my personal cutoff time is 6.30 p.m. Our bodies were designed to sleep when the sun goes down, not to digest and process food. Those little evening snacks in front of the TV do count. Private packing just because no one can see you hiding behind the fridge door and eating cheese, it doesn't mean it's okay. Packing equals pounds. Get yourself out of the habit. Skipping meals don't do it. A TV can't turn on unless it's fed power. You've got to keep your body ticking over, especially when you're exercising. If you don't eat, your body goes into survival mode and holds onto food instead of burning it off. Saying I'm big bone have you ever seen a fat skeleton? From Lisa Riley's Honesty Diet by Lisa Riley, published by Michael Joseph, price 16 pounds and 99 pennies. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.